Hey there guys, this is Mr. Krish and welcome to my channel. I uh, hope you guys are doing very well. So in this video I'm gonna talk about engine cooling system. So let's start. So about engine cooling, uh, there are mostly three type of uh, cooling system. Uh, and uh, these are air cooled engine, oil cooled engine and liquid cooled engine. So today I am going to explain these three. So let's start with air cooled engine. One thing, you all know that engine contains engine oil which acts as a lubricator uh, uh, for the engine parts. Engine parts. Uh, so it's, it needs to be uh, in semi liquid condition. When for when you ride your bike for excess heating, it turns into liquid. Uh, so uh, to keep it in semi-liquid condition, uh, engine cooling is very important. Okay. So let's start with air cooled engine. Mostly uh, you can see the bikes uh, like 150 cc bikes or less than 150 cc bikes like my Yamaha FZ or Suzuki Jigsaw and other you know, Honda bikes, uh, Honda Sun Honda bikes and uh, and, uh, some Royal Enfield bikes uh, uh, of 350cc or 500cc contains this air cooled engine. So, what is air cooled engine and how it works? Uh, you can see the diagram on the screen. Uh, this is a air cooled engine. So, this is the most basic cooling system. When you, when your bike runs, it uses the atmospheric air to cool the engine. Uh, these are the fins uh, with uh, with which. Uh, the heat came from the engine wall to the fins and air heats the fins and it cooled down. Obviously, the air is cooler than the engine, so it helps the engine to cool down. Okay. So now, this point number two is uh, oil cooled engine. So, what is the oil cooled engine? Uh, you can see some bigger capacity bikes like uh, Apache 200, uh, like Royal Enfield Himalayan, uh, Pulsar 220, Avenger 220. These bikes are um, this bike uses the oil cooling technology so you can see this picture this is the uh, an oil cool engine and mostly it is an air cool engine and there is just a little addition of small radiator what it does is the oil came from the engine with the help of this uh, inlet and outlet pipes oil came from the engine to the radiator and then with the help of the air it loses the heat and then it cools down and the cool oil goes inside the engine. So basically this is the process. This is the process of air oil cooling. These are just uh, air cooled engine with uh, small changes. Uh, okay. So the third type is uh, liquid cooled engine. Uh, so you can see some bikes like R15, uh, Honda CBR series, KTM Dukes and other bigger capacity bikes like uh, other more bigger like 1000cc, 800cc, these bikes contents, this, those bikes have has this technology and, uh, about uh, what, is, uh, what is called liquid cooling technology. In this technology, uh, coolant, uh, coolant is used for uh, cooling the engine. Okay, so these are the picture of some uh, liquid cooled engine. Uh, so in this technology, you can see the coolant flows through the channels inside the engine and absorbs the heat from the engine and comes to the radiator to lose the heat. So basically that is it. Just uh, uh, this coolant, uh, what this coolant do is uh, absorb the heat from the engine and take them to the radiator and loses the heat and again the coolant uh, runs into the engine. And this is the process, this is the random process. So this is the liquid cooled engine. So this is it. This is the three types of engine, uh, engine cooling. So, so that's it in this video. Hope you like this. Please give this video a like and share this video with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also leave your valuable comments in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video. Write safe and spread love. Thank you so much. Bye bye. No, I know my